Alrighty. Yesterday I took this thing out and did some testing uh, with the muffler on the back of it, which as you can see is off now. Um, it did not really want to run under load. Uh, it just kind of fell on its face. I went ahead and put uh, the little straight pipe back on there. I redid the oil system on this thing, or at least the drain. Um, I added a 90 degree and just took some of the kinks out of the system and got it a little farther away from the chain as I was worried it was gonna hit uh, as the chain gets a little sloppier. I'm actually gonna take this thing back out today uh, and do some more testing. I haven't really mentioned it, but I did put this carbon seal turbo on um, from G Pop Shop. So that's been doing good. Um, today I was doing some testing out front of my house and uh, it was actually smoking on diesel uh, for a good bit and it seemed to clear up so I'm not sure what that's all about um all right let's get our oil going up again. Well, we just made five pounds of booze. I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see that on the gauge. Um, Carbon seal is holding up so far. We just made seven pounds. So that's pretty fucking dope. And it's breaking up again. Okay, well, that's an issue. Issue number one. 
We lost a bolt. Uh, I don't know where this is from yet, so it'd be cool to find that. And issue number two is it tried to just run away on me when I let off the throttle there. Uh, so I don't really know what that was all about. Um, but this thing did make seven pounds of boost multiple times. Uh, it needs more fuel. Uh, I think I'm running this thing super lean right now, uh, which is kind of an issue, so I think I'm going to call it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, everything seems to have held up. The turbo is still in there. Still don't know where this mystery 8mm bolt came from, uh, and it was burning a lot of oil on that last pull. So I'm going to go ahead and start it back up and see if it... Uh, See if it even starts. Oh, she's not happy. I'm gonna try choking it. Yeah, she's not happy. Um. So I found the vacuum leak, <laughs> and I found why this thing tried to run away on me. This bolt, I forgot about this, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but right here, off the turbo, that is a gigantic vacuum leak, and this bolt was plugging that temporarily while I was testing it in the garage. And that would explain why this thing needed a lot of fuel to start and try to run it away on me. So let's try her now. She's probably flooded. Much better, huh? That'll do it. try one more run probably not a good idea with how lean it is but I'm gonna try it anyways turbo I don't think is doing carbon seal turbo things currently um, and maybe I'm just burning out some excess oil from God knows where but uh, 
I don't know. I guess I'm going to probably probably pull this intake off, pull the exhaust off, see what is actually uh, coming out of this thing. If it's intake side or exhaust side. But yeah, it's not looking, not looking very good so far, boys. But it does run and it does make seven pounds of boost, so I'm pretty happy with that.